here at Nets Republic headquarters, there's there's there's, there's never a dull moment. I mean, like there's legitimately never a dull moment around here. Uh, this time on the episode of what's going on in Sever the Bonds off camera uh, life, I I have a cat now, and just and just and just look at the scratches. I mean, just 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 look at the scratches. Like Jesus, they look so much more adorable on the internet. But then you get it, and it's just like it just it just makes me. Makes me love my dog so much more. I, I I I can't stand this cat, but that's not here or there. Welcome back to Nets Republic. Sever the bond. Seven men young. Seven men the youngest of the seven men. The greatest there has ever been. Just finished watching the Wizards game from yesterday, and we always like to dig a little bit deeper here on Nets Republic. We like to brush past the surface and not just you know talk about the obvious stuff. We like to dig deep, if you will. We like to get in the you know no not show we play the 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 the, the the, the nitty gritty, if you will, you know, the 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 meat and the potatoes, and for me, the meat and the, the for, for me, the meat and the potatoes, and the uh, the the game within the game from the last one we just watched together collectively was the fact that, and again, surface level, people are gonna just point out, right, Kuzma versus Spencer, right, but that th there's such a deeper, darker criminal link. I don't know why everyone on the Wizards hates the Nets so much. I don't know what we did. Again, if they don't like Spencer, like, I get that. I believe Spencer did when he was, like, on Washington at some point. I I'm pretty sure, like, we, like, let him walk to go to Washington. They never really got anything back. I can't remember how it is that we ended up getting rid of him. I just know that we got rid of him for absolutely nothing. I remember that. And then somehow he ended up in Dallas, but that's not the end of there. But... I understand that Spencer's got some issues with, um, with uh, uh, you know, uh, with uh, Kyle Kuzma and such, but I don't understand why the rest of them hate us so much. I mean, it was a war. It was a proper bloodbath, if you will. I mean, it wasn't like as physical as like, I don't know, say the WNBA playoffs or something like that. But I mean, it was, it was, it was still a pretty physical game. I, I mean, I, they were, they were killing each other. Like... The way Claxton was blocking those shots, the way Dayron Sharp was making sure nobody got a rebound but him, the way Mikel just seemed to take pride in backing Jordan Poole down and shooting them little turnaround middies in his face. And if you look at the bench, like those celebrations weren't like, oh, our teammates doing well. Finney Smith and them are doing the too small on the bench to Jordan Poole. Again, there is a game in the game that I don't think other commentators are looking at or even paying attention to. But I can smell the beef. I can smell the... I'm semi-vegan. I can smell the beef. Listen, I can tell when two groups of people don't like each other. If there's conflict to be snipped out, seven man young, seven man gonna find it. Y'all don't know this, but I'm Detective Sever. I'm going to get to the bottom of the shenanigans, and they don't like each other. I'm not entirely sure why. Again, there are certain bits and pieces and individuals here and here and here and here and there, right? But, like, outside of Landry Shamit being on our team at one point, I can't connect the dots as to why that is. And it baffles me that Richard Jefferson and the other dude, like, weren't able to, like, dig a little deeper on what's going on. Part of me wants to watch the game again just on the Washington broadcast just to see if I can find some clarity. So if anyone knows down below, if anyone is friends with any of the players or has any insight, let me know down below. Again, obviously we know the, the, the Spencer Dinwiddie Kuzma stuff, but if there is any other nuggets or tea or like IG stories or something that I'm just not uh, tapped into or something like that, let me know d d down below because I want to know why they hate each other so much. I don't, I don't think the fan bases have any issues. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I didn't know they were Wizards fans, but like I, I was, I was, I was, I was just, I was taken aback. I was taken aback at how volatile it was. I mean, we've had physical games, but it's very rare that we'll play a team that doesn't like, I mean, we're a pretty likable team. Like, I know some people don't like Cam Thomas, but like, that's more like fan stuff. Like, we don't really have very controversial players. Like, when we had Kyrie and stuff, like, okay, yeah, Shooter's going to get under his skin, right? But, like, we don't have controversial people anymore. So, like, beef and drama, I'm like, dog, what, are we doing this again? Like, I was, I was, I was, I was dusting off the clickbait thumbnails. I'm like, okay, are we back in it? But, you know, that's, that's, now that you know there. Um, in terms of the game, 
needs to be said, you know, uh, this is one time where I, I feel like the box score and people having casual takes should honestly be the main event. And it, 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 it could be, it's just, it's not November. Well, it is November. It's not Thanksgiving yet. So I can't call someone a bum, but Mikel Bridges, God, was he like two for 45 from three? And again, with the amount of shot attempts he had in total to only end up with like under 25 or whatever he ended up with, it, it's it's just very, it's telling to me. It's, it's, it's just very telling. If you give Cam Thomas that amount of shots, he's dropping 60. And that is a literal fact. Like that's not like, oh, he might, no, he, he'll, he'll literally do that. Like, 30 plus shots and you end up with like 24 is insane to me, but that's not a, you know, there and, 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 and shock, shock, it is shock, shock, shock. Oh, shock, it is shock, 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 fun. I'm trying not to slander him. I'm trying not to be mean because again, not even a week ago, I was making a video giving him props. It's just sometimes I just watch this man coach and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. A lot of y'all are going to think that I'm going to harp on the fact that we're just shooting a million threes and running small ball with Claxton and expecting this to work differently than the Rockets. Like, I know y'all want me to talk about that, but I've got a specific, again, we got we to gotta cut past the surface level stuff. It's been like over a day. We got to do the deep dives here. Did y'all see the end of the game, right? When Jacques Vaughn is running this like inbound play, right? He has them like line up in like this weird like Pac-Man formation or something like that. And then, you know, um, ref, it tosses the ball. They're trying to pass it in. Someone doesn't cut or some. I don't even, like. I don't know what Jacques is doing. They call a timeout, right? Jacques Vaughn calls everyone back in the. And you can see the players are frustrated with each other and coach because it's like, why can't we just run it? North? The game was over. We were up like seven, but Jacques is trying to do some weird like practice. I don't know what was going on. The players are irritated. The commentators are irritated. I imagine y'all who watched it live were sitting there like, what is Jacques doing? So he calls a timeout. They run the exact same inbound play. Mikel kind of like spins off, right? Gets the ball. Then he holds it. And then he gets trapped on the sideline, but they don't foul. And Mikel is just like, what do I do now? And Jacques just like, I don't know. And it's just like, dog, what is the plan here? Like, Mikel is, like, teetering on falling out of bounds, and they're not fouling. They are not fouling. So they pass it around a couple more times, and then they eventually foul. But it's just like, what is the plan? So cue the feet, uh, free throw. Cue the free throws. Mikel missed one of them, by the way, but that's not here there. Cue the free throws. Right? We do the out of bounds play again because I'm trying to remember what happened. I think I think um, I remember Jordan Poole had fouled out at some point, but I think some unforced turnover. I can't remember how it happened, but anyway. So we're doing the inbound play again, and it is the exact same play, the exact same play. And Jacques Vaughn had already run out of timeouts to set up the first one. So this is attempt number three, the exact same little Pac-Man formation. The Wizards obviously know what we're doing because we just ran it twice. So they can't get the ball. So you got Mikel here. You got Cam Johnson here. Both of these are being denied. So you obviously have the inbounder. And then there's two other people. I can't remember who else was on the court. But they just like throw it into, I don't know the difference between front court and back court. I'm sorry. They throw it over to like the other side of the court, right? Somebody else grab, like barely grabs it and they foul. It's just like, it was just, it's hard to describe like verbally. You had to have just been watching the game and just recall this. But I don't know what Jacques Vaughn is doing. And we won a dub is a dub. It should not have been that difficult to beat the Wizards. I just want to make that clear. It should not have been that hard. This was almost Russell Crowe, but their team was healthy. So I can't, I can't say it, but it's just, I'm not entirely sure what Jacques Vaughn is doing. Again, I get it in theory, but then there are just times where I'm just scratching my head 
Like, what is he doing? But I'm going to leave it alone because they won. So who am I to, you know what I mean? Who, who am I to critique if it's working? Sure. You know, sure. Uh, Cam Johnson is playing really bad. Like, really, really bad. Oh, excuse me, bad. I'm sure the defense is defensing, I guess. I don't know. Not really paying that much attention. On, on defense, I'm normally watching Dayron Sharp and Claxton, so I couldn't really tell you what he's doing defensively. I assume it's good if he's getting these minutes and a max contract to go with it. But yeah, you know, Operation B. Mikel's best friend seems to be going very well. Um, so shout out to him for that. He had a couple of cool layups. I mean, there, it, it, it wasn't really cool. He was practically wide open on some broken plays, but that's not even there. Um, Spencer Dinwiddie, I think, is doing a good job in terms of leadership. I mean, he's not really much of a playmaker. I, I know he thinks he is. He, he fancies himself a playmaker, but he's doing the best he can in the absence of Ben Simmons. Again, it's just really obvious that Ben's not out there because sometimes the offense is a little meh. And without Cam Thomas out there to ISO out of these really silly options that are being run by uh, Coach Jacques, I mean, I just... It's it's it, it's tough, and I feel like a lot of these wins are going to be very much under the a dub as a dub category because without Ben Simmons, it's just like we're really just going off the harebrained schemes of Jacques, which pun intended because he's bald, but he has a beard, so I guess that works. Um, let me think. Is there anything else that's really worth mentioning? I mean, not 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 really. I mean, again, the game just should not have been as difficult. Oh, Claxton! My God, the title of the video, right? Claxton is playing incredible, right? And the fact that he's doing it this quickly is so telling, right? And I, I, I just want to, I just want to have a moment to pat my own self on the back because the way that people are talking about this team, the way that people are discussing this team, is there's three stars. One of them is a star only by name, right? But there's three stars to this team, right? You can kind of throw Mikel in there, but the, I think I'll know where I'm going, right? There's Ben Simmons because you know headline, big name, right? But then you got. Claxton and Cam Thomas and it's just like for someone like me who has been praying for days like this for like two years now I'm just so happy that we have reached this era because we have gone through so much shenanigans to get here I am just thankful the fact that we as an entire fandom have agreed that yes the future of this team is Cam Thomas and Claxton. I'm just, like, I have been asking for this for so long. Like, the church will blow it up. Like, all that. We, 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 we have been through this for so long now. I've been, like, since I saw that man give Anthony Davis the beats in his first preseason game, I said, oh, Cam is that guy. Ah, God. And y'all been telling me about Claxton since I joined the fan base. It's just... It's just such a wonderful feeling to know that technically, and I mean technically, we could have a lineup. We could have a lineup of Ben Simmons, both the Cams, Mikel and Claxton. I'm sure they'll try that at some point. Personally, I think Cam Johnson should come off the bench and Finney Smith should start but you're giving him a max contract. I can understand, but I just, I just, I think it's very interesting that no matter how you shuffle it, this is such a good team. And let me tell you something. I have not been able to say this in maybe, maybe since the Harden trade. When y'all go on 2K, do the injury free one. When I tell you we do not lose on 2K, when I tell you I don't lose on 2K anymore. I mean, just back folks down with Ben, kick it out to Mikel or Cam. I mean, and then and then Claxton's going to give you the blocks in the alley. Like, I just don't lose anymore, y'all. I just don't lose anymore. This team is shaping up to be something very spectacular. Now, what is the ceiling of this? I don't care. I am simply here to have fun. As I have said in every video this season, I'm here to have fun. I'm here for the yuckety yucks. I'm here for the games. I'm here for the fun. You know, I don't, I don't care what the ceiling is. 
I'm just having fun. You know what I mean? But let me know your thoughts on last night's game. Was 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 there any uh, standout performances that you thought needed to be mentioned and addressed properly? Let me know. Tomorrow is when we play the Magic. I I, I thought I thought it was I thought it was yesterday, but now we play the Magic. Uh, I believe it is a home game, so we get to see the reveal of our. Uh, play-in tournament court. You know, while I don't really care about the play-in tournament, it's going to be cool to see what our court is. Maybe it's just going to be like jet black with white stripes. I mean, that might be cool. And maybe they'll put these courts in the 2K game. I don't know. But it's 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 a fun concept. And hopefully these like play-in courts, well, not play-in, the, the, the in-season joint, right? Um, hopefully these like in-season, like specialty courts, carry over to the WNBA. So when it's like a commissioner's cup game, there's like a specific court. I think that would be really cool, but that's not a hit of there. Um, we should beat the magic. I mean, if we just did this to the wizards, we should beat the magic. I'm not afraid of Ben Caro or whoever, Hamtaro. I don't care. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not terrified in the slightest. We got dudes. We'll be fine. And Mark Fultz shaved his locks. Like, What's going? You know, you know, Lonnie, you know, you know, uh, 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 Claxton, like, what's going on? <laughs> Alfred Payton, like, what's going on? Well, that's not here there. And here come the comments. Oh, but Sarah, Lonnie Walker, Day. I know. I'm just making making content, making a ten minute video, just 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 trying to entertain y'all. Anyway, I'll see y'all tomorrow. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. I'm gonna go get scratched up by my cat, and um. Yeah.